Hey guys, I'd love to show you an easy way to use AudioCraft, Meta's newest audio language model that can generate music just from text and even extend out other melodies. So the first thing you need to do is once you sign into Google and use a copy of this collab, you'll need to use a copy of this T4 GPU and that'll let you give a CPU and a GPU towards this notebook. Once you do that, you'll verify that you have a GPU as you note by that tab there, and then just click run all and you can look at everything. And while this is installing, you can look at the two links for examples of how to figure out what prompts to use. There are some nice tips as you might note there. And there are some interesting examples here that you can see. All of that is text generated, which is pretty incredible. Once this finishes installing, we'll fast forward just a bit till this finishes. And that cell will run the Gradio app that they've developed by Meta. This will actually generate up to two minutes of audio for free if you're patient enough. And you'll see that there are two links. If you click up that bottom link that with the Gradio Live, it'll spin up this Gradio app that you see here. And if you wanna use, for example, the same prompt, let's look, use the one that we saw before. Let's copy that, paste that right in, and pick the medium sized model, the large is probably too large for the T4, and click Submit. You'll switch back and see that there is actually stuff downloading, which is perfect. This new batch will pop up and you'll generate this 500 step process. You'll also see that there was a model time, a decoder, a duration, and then you can then adjust any other parameters, some other examples, and again, those are the four models that you can use. Be aware that if you want to use a melody as a seed, you'll have to use the upload and the melody gen model itself. Now this has popped in, you'll see this audio here. That's pretty epic, but there's some problems. You'll hear that there is some echoing and some fuzz, and you add in, I like that frequency component, as well as perhaps a speed or tempo. And now that you input that, let's regenerate. And once it processes, you'll see the new music. And that's much better. Some of the music you hear now is what we've generated. I hope you had fun. Happy coding. Please like and subscribe.